Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and Toadland slash Tiny Mimi, technically they're the same thing. But, um, this video is a little later than usual just because I, um, I had some stuff to do, but whatever. Um, so yeah, because it is Toadland Week and it is Tiny Mimi Week, I thought I would do quotes from Ty, top 10 quotes that Ty said, you know, the ones, my, my favorite ones, the ones that are funny, and the ones that are just meaningful, and that I kind of tickle my heartstrings a little bit. So we'll start with number 10, and this is from season 1, when T Jack and Ty are on the cattle drive, and because Tim is the trail boss, that's what the word is, Jack doesn't want to really cooperate, so he goes off somewhere else looking for trees, and then Ty's like, yep, plenty of cows here. Oh look, there's one. No, wait, that's just your horses, and he does say the A word, but B, I don't swear, so I'll, I'll just say horses, but, because that's what it is. Um, and it's just kind of funny, because Ty, in the first season, is very, very sarcastic and everything, and he's hilarious, but, yeah. Number nine, this quote comes from season three, when him and Amy are looking for the horse they're raising Merlin. Amy goes on and explains that when she was back, her mom would give her a few minutes in the no-no chair. And then Ty's like, so how'd you look in the no-no chair? And it's just kind of a cute moment between them. And lots of laughs there. Number eight, this is kind of correlated to number one a little bit, but this is when Ty says, you know, what did I say to you before we talked about break? She's like, well, I changed. She's like, yes, but um, now I see that you haven't changed. You're the same girl, and that kind of... Ooh, that just, that just really hurt. Well, it doesn't hurt, but it's like... Ugh. You know, one of those, like, I'm so happy, I'm fan moments. Um... Then we go to number seven. This is from season six, and he's like, why, why do you always have to see the best people? Why can't you just be judgmental like the rest of us? Or something like that. But it's kind of funny because it pretty much describes what I think is human beings and stuff. We are very judgmental. We judge people without even knowing them, and it's very true, but still very <laughs> sad and mean at the same time. Come to number six. This is from season ten. And Ty pretty much explains why people... He goes on to say, like, you know, why are people, like, killing and hunting bears? It's disgusting. And it's kind of funny because I actually laugh when I have to go for a second time because I am not the kind of person to use the word disgusting. Although I did once, but I just found it funny that he used disgusting in a sentence besides something being food. I don't know why, but I get it, but it's just... Not, it just kind of made me laugh for some reason. Uh, number five, very, 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 very famous Heartland quote. To be weird enough to be the first one to cross the finish line. And, yeah, again, it's just number five because it's very well known, so it's a very, but it's not really my favorite. Oh, okay. I had to look because I abbreviated these, so I had to figure out number four was. <laughs> number four is from season four. It is when uh, the first episode when after Ty dropped Blair off, he tells Amy to get out of the truck. One of those moms like, wait, he's going after Blair, but then he pulls up again and says, let's start this thing over. This is me coming home alone to you. And it's, I like it because Ty is clearly, it's clearly, you know, learning from his mistake. And he's like, okay, maybe I should just, you know, come home alone. For her. But of course, because he said get out of the truck, Amy's like, oh, he's going after Blair. And everyone kind of thought that. One of those moments where it's like, oh no, don't tie, but he doesn't, so we're good. Oh, I put my sign on here twice. Oh, bye. Okay. That's a problem. Well, number three, we'll just go with the heater one from the truck, because that's funny. Um, pretty much season one after um, Ashley's party. Ty is driving home and Amy's mad at him because of what he did and then she asks if he has a heater in the truck, she's like, of course. Then she pulls it and gets in the truck. Doesn't work though. Makes sense, you know, Ty is an old truck. Uh, number two. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Very, 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 very good quote. Said by lots of people, so it's probably a very underrated quote, but 
truth is, it's not really said enough. There's a, lo a song by Snow Patrol called Chasing Cars in the Light. One line says, those three words are said too much, but not enough very true. We say I love you too, way too much, but we don't say it enough either. So, again, that's why it's number two is because Ty, that's the first time we ever hear Ty say it. And it may seem like, oh, well, people say that all the time, so clearly... Clearly, it's very clearly we shouldn't say it, but it's said way too little as well. People don't say it enough. Number one, this is kind of if you remember what I my yesterday's video, I did my top 10 favorite Hickstrip. Hickstrip that was last week, that was like two weeks ago. Um, top 10 Ty and Amy moments in which I number one was when they got back together in season eight. So, the favorite quote from Ty is. When he's like, um, he says he doesn't want to do it alone, he wants to do it with Amy. And that is my favorite quote from Ty Borden. So, that's going to be much for this video. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video about, I'll do another couple clash video. And, I know have a music channel, Grace Hall, link in the description, go subscribe. There is two videos on there now, another one coming out Saturday. Um, a it will be a, Saturdays we will be a medley on the, I'll be doing chords on the piano and singing a medley of seven different songs from, uh, I won't say they're my favorite, but, um, I, artists that I recently just got into and starting to love their music just as much as I love other music. So yeah, there's an original song from How to Train a Dragon on there that I wrote and there is a explanation behind my music channel. So yeah, go check that out, and like I said, go subscribe to that one, hit the notification bell, and listen to my music there. Getting some original songs out, and yeah, cover it if you wish, or you can just listen to it all you want. And I will see you tomorrow.